Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day or night wherever you guys are. Today, I'm going to be unboxing another Backstage Bruja product. Today, I'm going to be unboxing a apparel item. So I'm going to be unboxing the Bruja cardigan, which is like this long, spooky cardigan for the spooky season. I pre-ordered this a few months ago. Honestly, I forgot when. I want to say it was in August maybe august um so i've been waiting for this item for a long time it just got to me literally within the past few days and i've just been dying to open it and wear it but i wanted to wait and unbox it here for you guys if you guys want to see my previous uh, backstitch bruja unboxings i'll put a little annotation in the corner for you somewhere on this side and i'll also link it in the description as well but before that if you guys like this kind of content don't forget to give me a little like it helps the little youtube algorithm and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of these unboxings but with that out of the way let's just get into the video so here is the item this came in a nice little poly mailer of some sort, plastic mailer. Um, as you can see, I already blocked out my info because y'all don't even know where I live. That's creepy. If you're trying to find out where people live, that's creepy. Anyway, moving on. So there's like a little sticker that says Bruja Mail, which we always love. And you can just tear it and it opens. Okay, there's nothing else in there. Box go down. We got the lovely little Backstitch Bruja little business card we just got there. Really, really cute. And then on the back, you just have her info, her Instagram, her shop, all of that good stuff. I'll also link these in the description as well for your convenience. So this is the cardigan. It comes sealed in a plastic bag. So you can just throw that on the ground. We got some tissue paper, and that is the cardigan. Look at that. Really, really warm looking. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to try this on for you, too. So don't worry if you want to see what it looks like. But let's just get into the details. It is 100% acrylic, if I remember the description correctly. Yes, I was right. 100% acrylic and you wash it in cold water no bleach very light iron and um you line dry it you don't throw it into the dryer um because it'll mess it up so it's a line dry no bleach cold water sort of deal i would probably wash this with some like wool light or something or a delicate soap it comes with little tiny pockets, which is always a plus. We love a good tiny pocket. You can see the little pockets right there on the inside. And it should be also on the opposite end as well. So you got a little two pockets, two functional pockets. We have the Backstitch Bruja tag right there sewn on. Very, very nice. On the cardigan itself, we have a bunch of spooky motifs. We have some witches, we have some broomsticks, we have cats, bats, some little stars. And it's basically that all repeated all across the cardigan itself. It feels really, really soft and fluffy. It's acrylic, so I expect me to stay nice and toasty and warm. It's not wool, so I don't think there will be any issues of it like stretching when it's drying. I know if you have a wool cardigan or a wool sweater and you don't like flat dry it, it'll stretch and get really ugly. Um, thankfully, this is not the case. The cardigan appears to be very well constructed. The kind of bib part or like the lapel, I, I don't know if that's the proper term for this part that flows right here. Um, it's really stretchy and it's a little bit of a thinner knit than the actual uh, cardigan itself. And I think it's done for, you know, design purposes and when you want to throw it in, if you know what I mean. Uh, I actually quite like that little detail. Um, but just so you know, it does have that little extra uh, stretchy bit for you to kind of throw it over, if you know what I mean. I'm not finding any loose threads upon further inspection. Um, there are some fluffy bits, but that's normal if you're dealing with acrylic yarn, so that's not out of the ordinary. But I'm not seeing any holes uh, or any loose threads. Uh, whoever manufactured this for her, um, or for the brand, uh, did a pretty good job. I'm not finding any, really any flaws that I can find. 
everything's beautifully constructed and i'm so excited guys it's so it's nice and cold finally where i am and i can wear things like this tell me down in the comments below does it feel like autumn where you are or does it not feel like autumn because right now it feels like autumn and it makes me very happy but back to the cardigan. The cardigan retails for $100. Um, shipping, I'm assuming, varies from wherever you live. I paid around $11 for shipping, so my grand total came out to about $111. But I would say for the type of garment that I got, I would say it was worth it. It's really nice material. I'm probably gonna have this for several, several years to come and i can't wait to try this on for you guys and can get a nice good inspection of how it looks like on my person And there you have it. Hope you guys found the video informative. I hope the try on kind of helped you guys get a better idea of what the cardigan looks like on my body type. Um, the cardigan does come in a variety of sizes. I would say it's a pretty decent size range. Um, I'll link it down below if you guys are interested in purchasing it. I don't know if it's coming back, but I do know that the shop owner has a different cardigan you can get every season. So you can get the same kind of style of cardigan in different kind of prints depending on the season. So if you didn't like this one and you kind of want something more pastel or pink, you can expect something cool in the springtime. Or if you like pumpkins with like peppermint like eyes or something, you can find cardigans like that in the winter time. So you get like different cardigans that kind of I guess you could say rotate based on the seasons. Other than that, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give the little video a like. Helps the YouTube algorithm and helps push the video out to some people who may have not seen my videos. It also lets me know that you guys like to see me open stuff. I mean, I like to open stuff, but if you guys like seeing me open stuff, please uh, like the video so I can know. Um, but also, if you're new here, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of my kind of off the cuff personality. Um, I'd love to have you here and we have lots of fun here, or at least I think we have fun here. But other than that, you guys take care of yourselves, wash your hands, because you know, we're still in, you know, a pepperoni. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.